Let's talk about the very first Floyd Rose prototype ever made that we know of. There are some other ones we haven't seen yet. And uh, an example is the patent prototype that was in the actual non-fine-tuning patent. We actually don't have a picture of that. Supposedly he made a few other ones that we don't know, but this is supposedly, I, from what I've been heard, is the first one ever made that it was a prototype and he was put, and it put on his bandmate's 1970s Les Paul, by the guy's name was Greg Golden. He was Floyd Rose's bandmate of the time. So let's kind of look at this. It's um, so at this time he's really. It seems like he was more focused on the locking nut aspect because that was his revelation. Was if you, if you stop the friction here, right, it's going to stay in tune better because the issue is when you got the strings moving right here. That's where tuning issues start, right. So what he did is, unlike the modern ones that are a little bigger, he just made a fit in a standard, like, eighth-inch nut with, like, a Fender or Gibson, and that's what he did. He made a brass with, uh, looks like he's got a flathead screwdriver, and he's clamped it down that way. Probably wouldn't last that long, because brass is a softer metal, right? But uh, he's just trying to get this idea going. Anyway, so that's the locking nut. I can't really exactly figure out what is going on with this bridge area, so... Again, he's just trying to test out the locking nut at this point in time. And he's, he put on a Bigsby right here to do the actual tremolo part. And he looks like he made some kind of brass bridge right here. And it looks like it's a, it's a string through. So the strings come through the Bigsby straight through this portion. The bridge part right here doesn't move at all. just stays there. And it looks like it's, yeah, string through with the brass. And he could adjust the intonation right there. Um, I don't. These are all the pictures I got of it. So I can't really tell too much of what's going on. And if anyone here has better pictures of this, let me know. I'd like to have some more. But anyway, after this model, he would start to develop more of the bridge aspect right here. And he, what I call the patent prototype, which is a precursor to the FRT-1. The FRT-1 is supposedly like the very first Floyd Rose you could ever buy. And uh, before the FRT-1, it basically was the prototyping stage. And I'll cover that in the next videos. So there's also a song that uh, Greg Golden used with Floyd Rose to record sometime in the late 70s, I believe. And you can hear this guitar. I'll put it in the link down below. Stay tuned for the patent prototype video coming right up.